Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new product out of the Unify Protect lineup. I've been wanting a product like this for quite a long time, and it's a great entry into the Unify Protect ecosystem. The new product is the UNVR Instant. To me, the UNVR Instant is going to be perfect for residential installations as well as small business locations. To be transparent, Ubiquity did send me the UNVR Instant and they also sent me one hard drive, which is a one terabyte and a G5 turret to make this video on. In this video, we're going to take the UNVR Instant out of the box. We're going to get some cameras connected. We're going to put the hard drive in and then we'll also take a look at the viewport, which will be on one of these screens. So let's get started. And this is the box for the NVR Instant. We could see right on the top, it shows you what the product looks like. I already did pull the pull tab, but there would be this cardboard pull tab that you'd have to take off. Once we open it up, you're going to see the NVR Instant right on top. So you can see the NVR Instant right on top, and this is a fairly light device without the hard drive in it. There is this plastic wrapping on it, so we're going to have to take that off, and they have a pull tab at the bottom to do so. Before we look at the Ethernet ports, we're going to grab everything out of the box so I could get this off of my table, but we also have this lid that will be for the bottom of the device. The only other things that come in the box is this power cord to power up the MVR Instant, and then some sort of mounting bracket. I would assume this might be for a DIN rail when we want to put it onto our wall. And then, of course, we have a mounting template. On the front of the MVR Instant, we have our LCM screen, and then if we turn it around to the back of it... You can see that we have these six PoE ports, and then we have a seventh port, which would be our uplink to our network. And one thing that is really nice about this unit is the built-in viewport right inside of the MVR Instant. We don't need to buy a separate device for that. And then we also have where we plug our power in. If you need to factory reset this device, there is a factory reset button on the back as well. On the very bottom, this is where we're gonna mount our hard drive inside. And they do have this little sticker here, which I'm gonna peel off for now. But what that's telling you is when you go to install the hard drive, we need to click on this tab to bring it up. Once that is brought up, we see the SATA controller on the top. So we need to grab our hard drive and we need to make sure that the pins are facing towards the SATA controller. So I'm going to plop this in. And once it's plopped in, we have enough room so that we could push it up into the SATA controller. So that is all it takes to install this hard drive. Once the hard drive is installed, we're going to want to bring this back down so that it's seated properly. For hard drive size, you could pretty well do whatever you want. It has been tested up to 24 terabytes so far. We only have one terabyte in this though. Now, the last thing for us to do is to put the bottom plate on so that our hard drive isn't exposed any longer. And there we go. Now we have the NVR Instant all ready to go and we could plug this into power. We're going to get this powered up and then we're gonna go through the initial setup on my phone and adopt a few cameras. Before we go and set up the NVR Instant, let's talk about the price point. So for the NVR Instant, there's a couple different ways that you could purchase it. You could purchase it standalone, and that's gonna cost you $199 USD. Ubiquity will also be doing a kit with an NVR Instant and four G5 turret cameras, and that's gonna come in at a cost of $699 USD. And I think that is a really great price and a really good price to get into the Unify ecosystem. Now I do have Ubiquity affiliate links for both of those products down in the description below if you would like to support the channel. With the UMVR Instant, this is the only piece of equipment that you need to get started within Unify Protect and a couple cameras. You don't need to even have any other Unify equipment. This is a plug and play solution and I'm really glad that Ubiquity came out with it. I've now brought my Unify Protect application up. In the background, you could see my normal UMVR Pro running, but we do have a new device that's being found and we're gonna press add. Now on the next step, this is where you would name your network video recorder instant. I'm just gonna leave it at that name for now as I'm gonna probably be giving this to one of my friends and there will be an on-site job for that. So we're just gonna press next. We're not going to restore from a backup. We could see the storage that is inside of the MVR Instant, and that's that one terabyte hard drive, which is the Western Digital Purple, and we'll press next. Now, this is setting up the Unify OS, so we're able to go to our website now, or the site manager, unify.ui.com, and see the MVR Instant, and that's what we're going to do. I'm on the Unify site manager, and the first thing that I always do with devices is I update them. So in the bottom left-hand corner, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the settings wheel. From here, we're going to go over to our control plane, and then we could see that we need to update the Unify Protect application. Unify Protect is now up to date. We can also install two other applications, Unify Access and Unify Interspace. 
I'm not too sure about how many doors this could handle, but Ubiquity will update calculator.ui.com so that you know what capacity you could put on the MVR Instant. And speaking about capacity, the amount of cameras that the MVR Instant could handle is 15 HD, 8 2K, or 6 4K cameras. And I think that's great for this little device. The next thing we need to do, we need to get some cameras adopted. So we're going to go over and we're going to click on Unified Devices on the left hand side. From here, you could see that I have four devices that need to be adopted. We have an AI bullet, we have a G4 bullet, we have another G4 bullet, a G5 flex, and then we have a G5 turret. Like any other UMVR, this is the full protect application, so we could do everything that we want with it. Right now, we have three different updates that we need to do for these cameras, so I'm going to click and we're going to update them. The three top cameras that are saying preparing for update, this is on another switch in my house. The only one that's plugged into the MVR Instant currently is this G5 turret. So if you need a switch maybe in your garage to reach cameras or the cabling, you could also do that. We will be able to have the AI keys also within this. Let's take a look at the NVR Instant setting. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to click on it. By doing so, we're going to be able to see the ports that are being in use. So port 7, that is my uplink. On port 6, we have this G5 turret currently plugged into it. Within the NVR Instant, there is no port manager. So whatever VLAN is tagged on your switch, that's what this NVR Instant is going to get. If we hub over, say, port 7, we could do a couple things here and see the TX rates, and we could also see the RX rates. We could also click on Manage. From Manage, there's only two things that we could do. We could either have the port active or we could disable the port. Hovering over a PoE port, we could power cycle this port. So if you have a camera that's hung or it's showing offline, you could always power cycle it from here. We could also see the PoE power availability within the NVR Instant, and it has a total capacity of 40 watts. Using one of the G5 turret ultras on this, we're getting just over two watts. Now below it's showing our connected devices, which obviously we don't have all of these connected, but since I have another UMVR Pro and it's on the same network, it is going to show us that these are managed by another console. We could also look at our statistics, which will be our system performance, our CPU and memory utilization. If we click on our settings wheel, this is going to be our multi view. And that will be for the viewport that is inside of the MVR instant. So it says display multiple live camera feeds on a connected monitor for real time viewing. And right now we only have one view, which is the default. So whatever is plugged into that viewport on the back of the MVR Instant will be our default. But if we want to make a new view, we could click New Multi View. Clicking on the New Multi View, we could give it a name and then we could decide which grid that we want. Do we want it to be one camera or do we want it going all the way up to 26? I'm just going to leave it at four because that's all I have currently adopted. We're going to grab the AI Bullet. We'll put it here, the G4 Bullet, and then we'll grab the G5 Flex and then the G5 Turret. So this is a new multi view and I'll just call this one YouTube. Going back to the instant, we're going to click on the settings wheel. And this time, instead of the default view, I'm going to want that to be on YouTube. And then we're going to press apply changes. I'll show you right here from a clip on my phone, what it looks like displayed on my computer monitor. I'll also cycle back and forth between the YouTube and the default view, just so you could see how quick it actually goes. Like any other protect applications, we could do everything that we want. So we have our dashboard, then we have our find anything, which will do our smart detections or our motion. We could also look at our devices and we could do the playback and do case manager. We could also do alarm manager to set off the alarms that you want to see, or if you don't want to see them, you'd also do custom alarms. And that's going to be it for my video on the NVR instant. And I think this thing is going to be a hot seller. It is very compact. It's quiet. I have it sitting right next to me and I can't even hear it. It has a built-in PoE switch and we also have that built-in viewport for only $199. I'll definitely be taking advantage of the MVR instance for our small deployments at residential or commercial jobs. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the MVR instant. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.